Oh, we're meeting the order. I don't have my gavel, but... There we go. That makes it messy. We'll start with the prayer. Dear wise and loving Father, thank you on behalf of all who are gathered here today. Thank you for the ability to be involved in useful work and for the honor of serving the community. I pray you give us wisdom to govern, a sense of the true needs of our residents, confidence in what is good and fitting, the ability to work together in harmony. I pray for the agenda set before us tonight. Please give an assurance of what would please you and what would benefit those who live, work in and around our village of Hicksville. It is in your most blessed name I pray. Amen. We'll do the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome, and it's nice to see you here tonight. We had a water tower. Don, may we have a roll call, please? Kathleen? Here. Kraski? Here. Jones? Possibly. Baker? Yep. Bars? Yep. Beverly? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. You have in your packet the April 4th council meeting minutes. I'll entertain a motion to approve those. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes. I would, I would second. Jones moved to approve. Headley seconded. Roll call, please. Kraski? Yes. Jones? Yes. Baker? Yes. Barth? Yes. Beverly? Yes. Headley? Yes. Thank you. You have the approved bills list. Does anyone have any questions? Who is this in? Yes. I do. On the help wanted ad, is that just local paper or was that, we put that in several papers? What, who's the vendor? Mm. Defiance, Defiance Publishing, Defiance. okay. Yeah. Normally we advertise locally too. And so that's all. all Defiance around. of Tribune printing. And then the village player, the mayor ad space, what is that for? The paper? Oh, they're having an, their annual drive for advertising in their play programs. Yeah, I'm going to call it yeah, for a year. On yeah. behalf of council, it's charged to me, but it's, you know. On the like shops hardware bill for this seven hundred dollars and it just says miscellaneous items. Do we know what those miscellaneous items were or is it broke down before for you or for the for Kent or for somebody or for it is broken down on our invoices that we get. Hey Kent, you look at them, right? Kind of. Did you see them at all? Don't do anything with the park or fire or police do? Okay. If nobody else has anything. Second. Mr. Beverly moved to approve. Bar seconded. Roll call, please. Jones? Yes. Baker? Yes. Bar? Stay. Beverly? Yes. Headley? Yes. Progress? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Shelly Nicewander is not going to be here tonight for breast council, I'm told. We'll go on to boards and commissions. The Architectural Review Board met this morning, and I think Kent can tell us about that. Reviewed everybody in a minute. Tony brought some designs for us to look at, and he's got a picture back to get some quotes around. And also, we've got some of the other details as far as getting, uh, getting the concrete electrical site work quote. And we'll be meeting whenever we get some stuff around. 
Okay, are there any questions about that? Kent might have, Kent and Ron Jones might have some um, pictures for you to look at. They're on my car. That's <laughs> okay, well, sometime. Well, as a committee, we just kind of thought we're one supposed to be doing it, so we're just going to show you what we come up with. Start yeah, in, nice. you can there you go, one. yeah. They're going to look nice. Who's paying for it? Right. We are. We are. We are. Yeah. You, so you will. will at least be able to see the pictures. Oh, yeah. You, you will. will. You will. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Yeah. When he comes back with the prices, then we'll go for that. Okay. But we're looking at a, a larger one, out by 49, lit, and a smaller one on these yard. That's the proposal right now, but we're going to get prices. Thank you. But then a couple of weeks, we'll have some more information. Okay. Sheila, do you have anything from the cemetery board? No, I think we meet the 26th. Okay. <clears throat> the park board. Anyone here? Oh, hi, Val. Okay. Um, Are you looking to get in their Wi Fi? Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks. There was a meeting for Hicks TV Saturday morning. The minutes are not turned in yet, but do you have anything to report, Mike? Mm, not necessarily, I don't believe so. All right. How about any other committees that have met? Ordinance. Okay, go ahead. Well, I was just going to say, Water and Sewer met quite a bit. I uh, appreciate Don doing my minutes for me um, for the committee. But uh, we had a couple things we were addressing, and we asked the table on through the committee, and then we're going to talk, hopefully meet again, uh, possibly next Monday at 4 o'clock to go over some of the issues that we asked the committee to table. Um, got a couple, like I said, do you also have a EMHC update? I asked Adam to <coughs> send that through with some meetings that he's going to be attending for the city and, and some plan designs that he's finalizing on there. Though number three is not in the plan. I don't know why that's on there. But the Chicago Avenue drainage uh, is, is off of this. One thing we can't meet next Monday at 4 because we're going to see you an engineer. That's right, that's the 26th. Right, and I didn't know if that was, a, that was a set date. 26th, okay. So, you can meet after, but it's going to be 7, 7.30. We'll set another day. I read um, that there were some concerns or questions regarding the funding for this. And I think I read where you were going to get a hold of Roberta. Have you had that opportunity? Um, nope. She is on vacation, and I know uh, Kip was check, checking with her. I did speak talk to Adam. He's well aware of our passing our deadline with the grants application. He is meeting with them on the May 5th, <clears throat> uh, showing them the changes and readdressing the CSO issues with those projects. So uh, hopefully they're all okay with that and the grant procedures. I'm just curious because looking at EMHT, there's some big dollars. Yeah. That was my question. Um, we're going past our, our date. You're sure that we're going to do an extension? Well, that May 5th, we're already past the extension date for the grant. Um, that was due, I think, back in October, and we were sitting there waiting for everything. The plan design changes. We were waiting for EPA to sign off our reports. We weren't moving on anything, which we should have been, but we weren't. Um, they wanted us to be the bid by the end of April. Yeah. So he's meeting with them on the 5th uh, to discuss the design changes. And what they're doing. Okay. Roberta and both can't think. So there's be. still a chance that we could lose our funding. That 500, yeah. So well, that million dollars, half the grant, half the one. Absolutely. That would be a biggie. That'd be a big loss. That'd be heart wrenching. There's no way in, in, in the world to move anything up. Huh? Well, I think that's what we're asking them when we go down there, absolutely. Uh, well, but you have you have concrete dates set here. Well, Adam does. Well, whoever it is, you can see what I'm saying, can't you? Or am I just talking to a Adam person? understands, I mean, that, absolutely. that we're, like, missing, this, missing out on this grant? Mm-hmm. 
Well, he knows. I was, yeah, he knows. Um, I did not talk to him personally, but we've been addressing this grant issue for a couple meetings and meetings with the, within the committee. That if you've been addressing it, what have you achieved? Well, asking them to. They came. To, well, the, prior to the last meeting, uh, he got Kent got an email. Correct, Kent. Not long the before state. the last council meeting from the state for that grant says, what are you doing? Where are you at on all of this? And he addressed it. We got a hold of Adam. He addressed it. And, you know, to me, it, you know, I, I'm not pointing the finger at me or council or Adam or anybody, but we've been dragging our feet on all this stuff for a long time. Yeah, but um, what, what registers with me is in, because seasonality is set in on me, I can't remember. We passed a bunch of things. Mm -hmm. We never questioned anything. We, we said, let's get it passed. Let's get things going. We'll nitpick later because we're going to miss our date. And now when I look at this, we've missed, every, we've missed everything. I don't know if nitpick is the right word, but there have been changes from day one. But many times that word drive got changed. But, but can anybody refresh me? When did we pass everything? Two minutes ago, three, four? Well, I just thought last time Adam was here, he just had some small tweaks to do, and we were ready to go with our with uh, with getting our grant <laughs> application done. When we passed all those things. That's when you met. Okay. Yeah. We were going to go to bid. No, he wasn't ready to. But you have to remember, it, it was only one or two meetings ago, around when you made the final decision on Antwerp Drive. Two meetings That's ago was a month ago. Yeah. And, well, and, and you know and when he was well, in and Haver. And Haver. yeah 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 well, okay. I mean he, but we were applying for the grant for the other project right Antwerp Drive project the small government grant is for Haver Antwerp in the downtown only and he was working on Haver Drive when I said why is he working you know I mean doesn't we want to get our grant application in why wasn't he yeah. working on something that was Applying to that. Of changes on Haver just happened within a week. Right. Well, what are you saying? If, you're, if you think he's working as fast as he can, or, or you know, I'm not down there looking over his shoulder, but uh, I can see, I can see us losing a million dollars. Yeah. Well, yes. How in the world can we afford to, to throw that away? Especially when I thought we passed everything so that we could fit the timeline. Well, this meeting, all we're, I'll say we, all we're doing is since some of the scope has changed, and Antwerp's probably the biggest change in scope because if you read through the grant agreement, it spelled out what we were doing on all these projects. Well, Antwerp's 180 degrees from what it started out. But everything so, we've done, whether it's Havers, Antwerp Drive, whatever, we've cut back. It's yeah, not but, near the project it was, so it shouldn't take near as long to... to no. Bring to fruition. But you also have to realize the state board that gave the grant has to approve all these revisions because we're changing the scope of what we applied for. Now, I think they'll go along with it. That's just my hope. Could be wrong. But we applied for a small government grant list <coughs> for let's see, 2017, two and a half years ago. How often I kept hearing that, I will just wait till we hear from the EPA. Well, sorry, that wasn't a good strategy. Uh, exactly right. Okay. Well, anyway, we'll find it out. Is what it is. Good. Okay. Any more from your committee, Mike? Oh. Right, thank you. I know you've put a lot of time and work in it. We're not. We're not. Well, I don't, like I said, once, your once job we make a decision, uh, I understand that. Once we make a decision, give it back to the engineers and, you know, the craft people, you know, we kind of wait on their, their scope of things and then you know, we and, move on as best we can. And your committee is at the mercy of these changes. Yep. All right. Ron, do you have a committee yes, report? ordinance met tonight um, brought up about changing, allowing bicycles downtown to where it was and the committee voted two to one not to leave alone to leave alone but also we talked about the signage needs cleaned up a little bit there's I guess a couple signs and old tire so I'll get with Kent maybe on that trying to 
uh, they get with me on. Those are all up there by ordinance. So I'm well, you know, we're not, we're not about getting rid of them. Not get about rid of them, but them a little bit more attractive. Yes. I guess that's. Well, I mean, and that's fine. All I want to know is, are they going to be enforced or not? Before well, waste money on that's signs. Right. There's a question. Exactly. They, well, that's where I it think goes there, again, just don't make a decision and then well, it's let it drop. The decision hasn't been made, Kent. Well, then. We made a decision to leave everything alone. We just want to make things a little, a little bit more bigger. appealing. And we don't even, but we're I, not even real sure what that means yet. Well, I know. But you're exactly right yes. about the enforcement. And, and that needs to be addressed as well. But I don't expect you to say, well, we're not going to do anything until that's done. Well, why should I spend to, money sprucing up? Nobody's saying anything about money yet. Well, yeah, yeah, you do. We're, no. well, I think the one sign is just an attire. We've got, yeah. Just, just, well, the just two go hand in hand. That's all I'm about to say. Yeah. I've seen it too often in the past. Money gets spent and two two of those signs we're talking about are are on tires and two of them are on poles. I can see a solution that would cost nothing other than time. Potentially. But anyway, but, but we we I'm agree going. with what you're saying in terms of enforcement. We agree with the police has gotta I guess do you enforce if you no, had any talking bicycles or parking? Well, I don't no, know. bicycles. Bicycles. Allow them uh, yes, we do enforce that. We don't write tickets. But I don't, I can't remember the last time I seen a kid on a bicycle uptown in the downtown district. You just don't see it unless okay. somebody knows something that I don't. This would be during the day, because what is it from eight till six? Nine, nine, nine to six. six. Okay. Monday through Friday. Mike just kind of. Anyway, we're gonna leave. It's written out, no bicycles downtown in the daytime. Then also we met about open burning. That's an issue. And so the committee's going to look at that, see what it actually reads, and maybe tweak it a little bit. But there's a lot of open burning in town. Some recreation, some not. So we're going to look at that. And that's going to be an enforcement issue as well. And we get a lot of calls of people burning, and we we always respond. And if they got clean firewood, it's not illegal. If they're at the campfire, if they're burning old greasy pallets, couches, anything like that, they put it out or they get cited. That's the way. We but we're going to look at it how it's written, Tweak, tweaking it maybe just a little bit, making it easier for everybody to understand. But brought to our attention, we're going to look at it. That's all Anything else? I'm okay. not starting to fight, so we'll keep it. <laughs> I just get a little feisty at times. Are we talking the three-hour parking, anything like that? Or is this just strictly bicycles? We just or discuss the bicycles only. Well, or see there again, those others are all lumped in with bicycles. Right, and it's, all, it's all part of the ordinance. And, I mean, the, the topic was for all the signs to be eliminated completely. They voted not to. So street light property, um, a discussion of the villages. I guess from what I gather, someone wants some clarification of what is the village's involvement with the Veterans Memorial. And I asked for that, uh, Mayor, I asked for that to be on the agenda for this evening. Um, I had heard some different things on the street. I thought, well, you know, let's just, let's just openly talk about it. Uh, I found out some answers. Uh, so, myself personally, I have my questions have been answered. If anybody else has anything, uh, feel free to. I would add um, once the brochures are done and we wanted to have a formal meeting with the Street Light Committee to let everyone know, or full council, have you know the committee here and, and let Larry and Roger speak to what's going on, or even Mark Holmeyer, if you so desire. But it's designed and, and uh, signed, and things are moving forward, and, and Ron and I had a little visit there, so I think we're in good shape, and we keep going. And uh, I applaud everyone who is helping with that, you know. Uh, Roger Zedite coined the phrase, 
we, we want the village to take ownership in this for those who have served and are serving and, and make it an educational process. And, and I might add that the, the Daughters of American Revolution are involved and the Beautification Committee wants to step up. And it's becoming a, a really a neat thing. So we can uh, leave it at that and go on from there. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions about that? All right. Do we have anything from the Police, Fire, and EMS Committee? Personnel Committee? We have not had a meeting since our, our uh, most recent council meeting, but we will have a meeting in the future. I will set that up um, for the members of that committee meeting tonight. Okay. Are there any other committee reports? Okay. Administrator's report, please. New things that popped up um, on the new items, the downtown payment. Talk to the guy today. <laughs> still insisting on doing this. Um, you still want to know if you want to do the paint or redo the thermoplastic, well, call it the details. I said, at this point, probably the paint because it was cheaper. And he goes, yeah, it's cheaper. They can also get in earlier to do it if you paint versus uh, wait for conditions to do the details. So I told him I'd let him know either late tonight or first thing in the morning if you're okay with paint or if you want to go with the thermo decals. Paint quote's going to be right around nine grand. Go with the thermo decals it's going to be around 13,000 plus. I don't have a problem with the thermo as long as we keep well, that. I wrote down some pros and cons. The pros to doing the decals is they'll last a lot longer, which is going to save on maintenance. The cons is going to be number one, the cost. You got to wait later to get it done, and then if I mean, if you want, if you change your mind a month from now, then you're back to start to do this again. How long would the paint last compared with the... Uh, we normally do crosswalks every year just because they get a lot of wear. The parking stalls downtown, we were painting about every two to three years. And we have the equipment to do that, right? Yeah. So how long would the other last without even touching it? Forever. Thermal. Um, yeah. Forever. I mean, they chip off some. I've seen someone plows hip. I mean, they supposed to last. Over four thousand. We ought to. I think there was there was a twenty or twenty five year lifespan on. on the but if you ever think you're going to re re change your mind, that would pain. Um, much as I <coughs> rather do the decals and have them last. But I wouldn't change it. So I would just. I'd leave it like it is. That's all been hashed out. Decided to do it. So if you're okay with paint, I'll let him know paint. If you're okay with the thermo, then I mean that's fine. It'll just be a little later in the season until they can get here. So. But I have a question. I was thought about that the other day when I was looking at that tent. When they grind those off, uh, are they going to seal coat or do anything, or, or is it because that's not going to really look too pretty? It's not going to. Eventually, we'll have to reseal it, which means then we're going to repaint everything that they just got done painting. But that's life. Uh, so yeah, there's going to be some long-term maintenance with painting. But like I said, I don't care. I don't get a vote. I just need to know what to tell them. Well, we have to do something because all that salt will get down in there. It's going to open that all up when they grind them off. Well, yeah, at some point. <laughs> Paint our thermal, they're still going to grind them off. It doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. that makes no difference. But I just wonder. So they got to fix it right, it's fun. I just wonder if they can seal well, they, can, they can seal that when they grind it without much trouble. They could. Yeah, yeah. Part of the, That's not part yeah. of the, they're just coming in to remove and install. Right. Well. You could tell them to seal them, they couldn't cost that much more. I don't know. I don't know if they see them. Yeah, I don't think they do either. Can I have Can our guy seal it? Well, the biggest thing is they're going to come in, they're going to grind, and once they've ground down about five spots, then the painting crew is going to start yeah, coming after them, and there's not going to be time because you know, you got to have 24 hours in between. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's going to look terrible. 
So anyway, tell me what to do. Then you won't like my choice. What's your choice? I would not touch him. I, and I know it's got to raise a stink, but I have not I seen. But we're past that point. I know. I'm just saying. So that's what you can tell me what you want. Pain or decal. Simple as that. Do we need to do a roll call? Well, I just need to have some direction. You do a decal. It would be far easier. Do the lamination of the decal, and then you could come back because it is raised. Then you could come back and seal coat alongside of them. You know, That's a good idea. If you want to wait longer to have it done, and, it. and it's going to be, you know, by the time that, that those things would delam, I'm going to be dead, so I'm not going to care. Oh, really? I mean, when's the next time we're going to pay? <laughs> Paving will affect that one. You ain't paid. Yeah, I don't they won't pay that for a long time. Ten years, twelve years. Yeah, ten, twelve years at least. Okay. Well, the lifespan you said is twenty-five years for the decal. Right, and then a lot last for need for pay. Yep. So. Does the decals hold up with wear and tear with cars driving over them rather than the cars? Cars, cars will not affect them in the least. I mean, if you notice, uh, right after those were put down, and then we had the car show uptown. Somebody in a high horsepower did a burnout, did a, did a power break on top of that crosswalk right up here. Never faced it. Never faced it. Just leaves a normal black mark, that's all. And, and it washes off. Mm -hmm. The only thing that can hurt them is like the skid loader. If you got the bucket rolled up on it and you're going down through there, you might and catch I one. I can on the one crosswalk that they use quite a bit. It got nipped by a bleed. And mm -hmm. it's Chipped off. So if we wait for the thermal hall, how much time? He okay. didn't get. He didn't say. Let us get us on the board. He goes. We're on the schedule. But he goes. Painting would get done sooner than the thermal. So so you want how long? You Just to move things along, I would make a motion that we have Kent uh, get a hold of the contractor and sign us up for the decaling, and we will take a look at once everybody around this table sees what it looks like. Once they ground off the old ones, then we'll then we'll have a, another discussion to seal coat or do something to kind of cosmetically enhance. What you're what's saying, seal coat would go easier with the decal. Yes, it'll give you an, uh, something to butt up against. <clears throat> uh, and that's I'll, I'll second that. Did you understand the motion, Bob? Okay, Mr. Haley seconded. Roll call, please. Baker. Yes. Uh, yes. Beverly? Yes. Headley? Yes. McCraskey? Yes. Jones? Yes. Okay. The next minor issue that I, I just want to get it out, we got a letter in the mail today. Um, residents are going to be getting a letter from, from a place called Home Serve. I wish there was a law against these type of people, but anyway, they're offering like insurance to people for your water service line. So they're going to be sending this letter out to people. It'll probably be up to village offices to answer everybody's questions when they call what's going on. But the village has absolutely nothing to do with this. Are you talking about laterals? They're sewers, they're water service lines from their pit to their house. Not the sewer. The lateral. No. The line. No. Yeah, a line, be a lateral. Yeah, from, from the, the that's the, the homeowner's lateral. responsibility. Yeah. So if people get this and they want to sign up with this company, who I don't know from man in the moon, it's up to them. We're not endorsing it. We didn't give out addresses. They got them from a third party outside vendor. So. Buyer beware. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. It's got nothing to do with us, but I know people will be calling us wondering what's going on. They sent the letter saying that they were sending them out to. Yeah. They charge like so much a month, or just a. I don't know what type of insurance program it is. Okay. It's good to know, though. Yeah. Well, yeah, unless they charge more than what your water line costs. I even got my letter today. Do you live there? Oh, no, anyway, back to mine. Yeah, it's a uh, general pickup with 71 and a half tons. Um, it looked like it went well, did it? 
Yeah, well, you say a few places really benefited from our generosity. Mm -hmm. But that that has a lot of people are be sleeping do. well because we must have had two hundred <laughs> mattresses. <laughs> I mean, it was mattress after mattress after mattress, and that happened every time. Did you get a good one picked out? No, I passed on that. Uh -huh. uh, I, I let the Street Light Property Committee know about the ADP reps that were in last week. And he's still working on that, so we'll get it eventually. Did that woman get us anywhere? She, she did absolutely uh, nothing. All, all she did was bring the new tech to town to introduce him. But he started, we met with her, what, a month ago? Yeah, she hadn't done anything. This guy's taking over. So we've had like three different techs in the past two months. Uh-huh. So anyway, they're working on it. Uh, this last word. Uh, work instructions, planning to start the paving work first week in May. Now, does that include a part two, just for my own clarification? Yeah. Okay. And widening? as much as they can. It might not be a uniform all the way because there's just some obstacles in the way. It might be a that they're going to widen what they can. Now, are they are getting rid of some obstacles already, like the flower beds and some of the things that were created? Or to slow there. traffic down? We were told that they were going to move right? Oh, well, we're talking about like those wooden square flower boxes. Or yeah, those those can just get... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think they're about to do it, but. No, we, we thought we didn't. We weren't getting there. I think the ones, I think the ones, and I'll just say from the water plant drive to Spencerville, I think they'll be in the way. But they're supposed to be coming down like a week before they start and put flags so through those. So you might want to wait till you see some flag, keep people from moving them. That's the plan anyway. I think anything short of, of a telephone pole, we should move and a nice straight shot down through you know, there. We've got a hydrant and some valves that I'm not spending money moving. Uh, uh, that makes sense. But then what about the fence down to Spencerville Street end of it? Fences, flower pots, anything like that, we should move. Mm, I don't think the f I need to know. I don't Nobody mentioned the fence, but anyway. Uh, that would be like the, the uh, uh, not my job classification where they're striped the road and they go around the dead animal and <laughs> we really need to kind of get us a straight shot and make that look pretty down through there. Well, I think it'll look okay, but it might not be uniform width just due to some structure. Okay. No, I think we have to understand the fire I guess already... Well, yeah, I wasn't going to move a hydrant somewhere. No, but then you got culvert and some of the drainage stuff. You don't want to be messing too much with some of that. Or are we going to have speed bumps put in? Those are getting put back in. Same place. That I don't know how we're not spacing, but that okay. was part of the deal. <coughs> there's a code for that, man. I don't know if they're going to follow, but there is a code for that. Probably won't slow people down anymore in the business. Now I got my two meetings this week. I'm more here about some other stuff. I don't know if I'll be taking off the week in May or not. <laughs> Might be a last minute call. But anyway, the biggest thing is whatever committee is going to look at what I presented as far as maybe some changes in pay for people. I didn't know if that'd be water. Or not so. Water sewer is looking at the water sewer end of it. Didn't know if it would be ordinance or finance or whoever. I'm just asking people to look at it. Just don't let it die a slow death. And if it's no, let me know sooner rather than later. If it's yes, it's anyone. Just uh, do it. Well, what committee is it? We need to get I don't know it. anymore. You guys kind of. I know. I like know. Know. Back, like it's back in order to you want to give. It could be finance or police and fire. Or personnel. Or personnel. personnel. Yeah. Police yeah. and fire do it. No. It's stupid. Why don't we just tell you to take care of it? Because you guys have to sign this by ordinance. That's why. Well, can't we all agree that we agree with what you've sent us? We why? can't? Okay. Well. I would like to I, I would like to send it to personnel. Well, yeah. So whoever's looking at it, I mean, look at it, and then, yeah, they can bring back what they want. 
But I said it's all going to be tied to change in an ordinance. So yep. I guess assume the committee is looking at it first. Uh, you want personnel to do it? Yes, I think so. We have another thing, another issue to talk about anyway, so we'll, we'll set it up before we leave. Okay. <clears throat> I think that's it unless something else pops up. That's it, Kent? As far as I know. Okay. Does anybody have any questions for Kent about anything going on? Are you all calmed down now? No. <laughs> Troy, we'll have your okay. report, please. First thing I have is resolution 2016-04, a resolution of the Bill of Dixon, Ohio, appointing Mike Bailey and Cheryl Smith to serve on the Defiance County Tax and Center Review Council on behalf of the Village of Hicksville and declaring an emergency, of which I believe that's the reason for Cheryl's absence this evening as she's at the first meeting. I move we suspend the rules. Bring it. Did you bring it? Did you bring it? Did you send one to Cheryl? Um, I don't think I, I passed. There should have been like 10 or 11 of them being passed around. Not one there, sorry. No. You got the list? Well, as long as Don gives Cheryl. I'll give her Otherwise, I don't care. Yeah, I give her one. So I'll have to spend the rules. Did you get that, Don? Me and Ron? Okay, hey, we'll make it down. Thank you. So we have a motion to suspend the rules by Mr. Beverly, correct? And Ron Jones, did you second yes. it? Yes. Okay. A roll call, please, Don. Barr? Yes. Beverly? Yes. Medley? Yes. Krasky? Yes. Jones? Yes. Bailey? Yes. So second, third reading of resolution 2016-04 by Captain Lindley, a resolution of the Village of Hicksville, Ohio, appointing Mike Bailey and Cheryl Smith to serve on the Defiance County Tax and Senate Review Council on behalf of the Village of Hicksville and declaring an emergency. So moved. Second. Mr. Jones and Mr. Bukowski. Roll call, please. Beverly? Yes. Headley? Yes. Bukowski? Yes. Jones? Yes. Baker? Yes. Barr? Yes. And next is Ordinance 2016-05, a first reading by caption only, an ordinance amending certain sections of the personnel manual, including the application, hiring, performance evaluation, resignation, insurance, vacation leave, and grounds for disciplinary action and penalties. That's all the stuff that we, the committee went through, and I sent that memo around them probably a month or so ago. Is this, <clears throat> I know this has been a long time coming, is it something that needs passed right away? Or is it going to be okay this way? It's not an emergency. If somebody wanted to suspend the rules, they could just to have a chance to leave. Okay. Yeah, so. yeah, we've been working on this since last April, so I don't know that we're in a. That's all I wanted to know. Yeah, I just want, I want yeah. to look it up. That's all I have. Thank you, Troy. We will ask the police chief as, if he has anything. Um, chief Ballinger. I do, Mayor Council. Uh, we had a probationary patrolman he hired September 16th last year, and his six months probation would have been up the 16th this month. And uh, I spoke with uh, the chairman of the police and fire committee, and he in turn contacted the other two council members and it was decided to let him go. I just didn't feel comfortable. Some of the things that come up at all. And uh, with, with the vacancy that that created uh, last September, October of last year, we uh, hired Monica Herman part-time and she would be willing to go full-time at this point. Uh, she's worked quite a bit since we, we hired her part-time and she's done a good job and we really need a female when Lori retired it, it's, it's tough interviewing you know, children uh, sex crimes we use female a lot to interview and I would like to bring on Monica full-time request that the mayor council I would recommend Monica she, she owns most of her equipment, and I think we're just only going to have to invest uh, a police and fire physical because she's on PERS now in uh, uniform. I think she's
she's got uniforms that she's been wearing, but I think she purchased them herself. So, isn't she already working part? -time? Yeah, she's already part time. So she wouldn't need a physical, would she? Yeah. She has to switch to police and fire, and they have a pretty. Oh, duh. Yeah. Right. Well, in depth. The CRS is part time. Yeah. Full -time. I move we support Diane, support the mayor's recommendation. I'll second. Roll call, please. Headley? Yes. Kraski? Yes. Jones? Yes. Baker? Yes. Barr? Yes. Beverly? Yes. Congratulations. <laughs> Welcome. Well, 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 time. Well. Yes. Thank and you. At present time this week, uh, <laughs> Sergeant Stigna, he's down in Opata. He's getting certified on the carbine rifle. That's the only thing he needs yet to be able to be the firearms instructor for the police department. He had the oh. other two when he was at EPD, so oh. that's why. So we'll have our own firearms instructor. Do you have a location? We we've been going to Bryan, but we've already went to Antwerp and uh, if Bryan, we put it, Bryan's a nice place. Um, yeah. Is there ever any thought about having our own site? I mean, if we're gonna have our own instructor, it sure would be nice to do it in our own backyard. Yeah, well we've always had a firearms instructor, but you put in a lot of things. I mean, yeah. you know, the, the place, the the backdrop for the ammunition, flying and maintenance. You know, the fishing game club over in Defiance, that's pretty simple what they've got. Yeah. Brian's is elaborate, I think. Yeah, Brian's is really nice. I mean, if we go to Antwerp, we have to join the Antwerp Conservation Club. That's so much per person. We used to belong to that. You can take a friend once a year, so we didn't uh, have our part time people. Full time, then they were our guests for this year when we qualified. I'm just <clears throat> thinking out loud right now. Does anyone have any questions for Chief Ballinger? Okay. Anything else, Monty? No, it just is, this is Monica and this is her husband, Dave. So yep. nice to meet you. You're welcome. Thank you, Mayor Council. Okay, Fire Chief Kramer. I just would like uh, Kelly Noto and Philip Carrickson to be taken off probation. They both have their six months in. Kelly Noto and Philip Carrickson. Doing you a good job, huh? Doing a good job. Well, we learned right there. Picking things up. Good. I noticed you had Philly doing all the grunt work at my daughter's fire. I would rec uh, go with uh, Chief Kramer's recommendation to take them off probation. I uh, move that we accept the mayor's recommendation. Second. Where, where's your daughter, son? Down the Roll call, please, Don. McCraskey? Yes. Jones? Yes. Baker? Yes. Flower? Yes. Beverly? Yes. Headley. Headley. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that has happened before, Don. That's the first. Thank you. Just to let you know, we have three that are three new recruits that are starting class. In awesome. Firefighter one class. Thank you. Thanks, Scott. Now we have the EMS chief, Kessler. received an application from Dave Woodring. He is a, an advanced EMT, currently living in Napoleon, looking for a home in Hicksville. He is willing to come over and sit his eight hours weekly and a 48-hour weekend for the dollar an hour until he moves to Hicksville. So I would, at this time, I would like to ask permission to go ahead and hire Dave Woodring. I would make the recommendation to hire Dave Woodring. I, I would uh, accept the mayor's recommendation and giving you back with all the bells yes. and whistles that we need to have for the uh, employee ability. Background check, good drug screen physical. Come back, you have me. So, roll call, please. Jones? Yes. Baker? Yes. Barr? Yes. Beverly? Yes. Headley? Yes. Kratzky? Yes. Thank you. Mayor? <coughs> I'd like to ask for a police fire and EMS committee meeting to discuss some upcoming personnel issues. 
I'll set that up with you. Does anyone have any questions for Chief Tussler? <laughs> All right, thank you. Did, did the um, pancake sausage breakfast go good? Yes, it did. Good. Great. You have in your packet, um, in Cheryl's absence, I guess you wanted me to take care of this unless you want to do it, Don. Nope, I have. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a month-to-date and year-to-date cash statement? You have um, the mayor's court report from March in your packet. And she has in here a request approving her to enter into an agreement with Zimmerman LC for certified HIPAA training. And this is something new. Did she talk to you about this, Troy? Um, is this a legal obligation that we have? I believe that this is a situation, and I think um, I think you guys got the cover letter. I'm not sure. Yeah. Did you get that, Troy? That it's just a matter that it reduces our liability if something goes wrong with following the compliance. If somebody talks and we can see that's what it's all about. That's kind of well, like open records training type of thing where you go and complete the open records and then they reduce whatever you're take take into account that and when it comes to your insurance and things of that nature. But it was recommended by Chapman and Chapman, who is with our medical insurance uh, advisors. Do we know what this is going to cost, and are there other companies that do the same thing? That it's $595. And I believe, can't, you probably go to the hip, you probably go to the Borma meetings, but Borma is like pushing this correctly, correct? I hadn't heard it in the past couple like that. Okay. But All right. at the end of that first paragraph, have we done that first step? The plan document wrap program, whatever that means. Um it's the last sentence in the first paragraph. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Cheryl's done a lot of stuff since she took office in January regarding uh, things with Borma that I never had to do. So some of that stuff could be this stuff. I don't know. Do you feel that it's really necessary, Mayor? I, I'm for training. I'm for training, but I think a lot of this HIPAA stuff and things of that nature, they kind of really get carried away with it. Well, um... Not that this will stop it, but I can tell you right now, and I don't know the specifics on it, but if you get one violation and the village gets, like, cited or whatever, it's going to cost at least 500 some dollars in the fine that they impose for violations of the HIPAA rules. So, I mean, if you look at it from that perspective. So we could save $95 just by not going to school. <laughs> <laughs> That's for one violation. And I'm not saying that training will prevent all violations, obviously. No, that's... That, that was just my opinion. Right. Yeah. And really, I don't think she needs council approval. Does she to take it forward? No. I mean, she might, no. She might be just be doing it for information. Yeah. And that's okay. Yeah. But ultimately, I think she could sign. I think she just right. kind of wanted someone else to make the decision um, whether she should go or not. And but she's willing to go if she wants to. Yes, she would be willing to go. She's willing to be trained. I, yep. I think we should do it. The motion, or just yeah, you can do it in the form of a motion. I make a motion that we allow the clerk treasurer to attend this HIPAA program compliance program. If she feels it's necessary. I thought she said. It. Well, I, I, her and I talked, and I think it's necessary. At her discretion. 
Good words. If she wants to vote, I'll say we yep. She would have the best idea of okay. what the I'll benefit's that. gonna be and Okay. Baker. Yeah. Bar? Yes. Beverly. I'm torn, but yeah. sure. <laughs> Headley? Yes. Crap. I don't yeah. think it moved voted. Oh, yes. Just if you want to go, go. It's important. Yeah. You know, it's an important topic and No, but she could just talk. She school kind of well, and, and, and to enlighten on what you just said, I think we need to vote on everything because a lot of stuff gets lost. And then we go like, well, remember four meetings ago? Well, it's not in minutes. We didn't vote on it. Well, we all agreed to it. Well, but if we vote on it, it gets put in minutes. Well, you know, her being fairly new in her position, she probably doesn't know how much you support training and how much you don't. But I think she'd have been better off not even ask us. Okay. <laughs> so you saw the bill on the appeals yeah, right. list. Yeah. Oh, there you go. That's right. Right. And then you yeah. can say, that's You can throw that in your own box. No, that's no, it. No. I know you wouldn't do that. Okay. So, um, Kim Forrester, our income tax clerk, has just been doing a wonderful job, and she wrote me a note that her six-month probation is complete, and I would recommend that she's taken off probation. I would like to uh, I'll make that motion that we take our operation under mayor recommendation. Okay. I had a number of conversations with both Kim and Cheryl on this topic, and I agree and second that motion. Great job. Are you ready for roll call? Yeah. I've heard nothing but good things about her. Carr? Yes. Beverly? Yes, ma'am. Headley? Yes. Kratzky? Yes. Jones? Yes. Baker? Yes. I think the tax season went really well, considering that Don and Kim and Cheryl Smith were all helping with taxes, and they really did a good job. So, I would like to remind all the employees and the council members of your opportunity to go to the health fair at the Community Memorial Hospital this week. And on the agenda is an update on the splash pad at the park. And I'll just tell you that when this kind of started, because Amy Galbraith is going to be incoming president of Rotary, is it July 1st? And she wanted to have a community project to do. And she knew that some people were inquiring about a splash pad, so she thought that she would try to raise money and make that kind of her project while she was in as a Rotary president for that year. And then through her connections with Cliff Height, she got $50,000 put in the state budget for a splash pad in Hicksville. So um, that kind of throws a different spin on it. and. If we want to apply for a Nature Works grant to go along with that, Dennis Miller at Maumee Valley Planning said that he would apply for a Nature Works grant to go along with that. And I guess maybe there needs to be some clarification that what may have started out as a rotary project, we're not sure if it will, will have to be a village project with those monies coming in. I believe that. Amy is going to talk to someone at the state level and find out if those funds can be given to Rotary for them to continue with the project and, you know, maybe it not be a village project, but I, I really would imagine to apply for a Nature Works grant, that has to be a municipality, an entity, city, government entity, not, you know, Rotary. So. I just want to keep you updated on kind of where we stand. A, a committee's been set up, and Kent can tell you um, he's on it by default. Uh, but, you know, there's, Amy, there's, you know, some interest by some of those splash pad companies that want to come and look at the site and that kind of stuff. So, and the project, would it be done till next year if I'm understanding it correctly? So. 
but if we want to apply for the Nature Works grant, we have to have some information together by June. So does anyone have any questions about that? Is, you know, is there, are there objections to doing that project? Um, I think it's a great idea. Okay, a Nature Works project, what's that? Like trails? Is that what you, you, know, you get money for, for the park. I think one year they put the asphalt at our uh, tennis courts. Okay. All of that new Battlefield complex, soccer field, all that stuff was done with the Nature Works okay. grant. About eight years ago, I probably remember better, uh, Nature Works came from the Little Week Stone driveway up, caught to the concession stand here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and handicap, that was for handicap yeah, purposes. I mean, yeah. yeah. So we've had nature work grants before, but. I think we move ahead. Exactly. So Amy's really excited about it. She's. You want to vote on that so it's in the records? <laughs> Whatever you make a motion for. I would make on. a motion that we get behind this uh, thing and. and uh, you might just have to remember all this come budget time. And I'm not, it's not that's not a negative. <laughs> But if the Nature Works has to go through the village, then there's matching funds. I mean, so you got to make sure you got enough in next year's budget to cover whatever their estimated cost is. But that's next year. I mean, we've got well, we've got this fall going to budget. Five months, so you're going to be looking at the next year's budget. Right. Right. So don't want people to have any amnesia. Well, that's that's getting voted on. It won't be amnesia. <laughs> make the motion. We proceed with it. Okay. Would anyone like to second yes, Ron's motion? Okay. Bar seconded Ron's motion to go ahead with the splash pad. Roll call. Yes. Headley? Yes. Kratzky? Yes. Jones? Yes. Baker? Yes. Yes. Barr? Yes. And this Amy is from Defiant, so. Yeah, she is. Coming in to be president of Rotary. Well, Rotary's always tried to done some type of community project. Different presidents have different ideas, and it's always up to them to pick something in the community to help with. Um, this is a bigger project than we've usually done over the years, so and it's um, going to be used. We've helped with the library, the Uber, uh, the alley, different things over the years. So I think it's a great project. Night where Cliff Sun mentioned something along this line, I think, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Mary, you stated that uh, there's already been a committee formed, and that they hooking up with him to make sure that, that where it goes in the park. Which I think the, the committee still needs to meet to find out who's on the committee. Ah, the, the committee is meeting. It's in. Well, see, I haven't heard It'd be that. a handy little piece well, of information, wasn't it? Well, yeah. yeah. And the committee hasn't been totally sound from Rotary is meeting tomorrow at the Rotary Board for any of the to the Rotary Club, and I know some names have been thrown out there for committee, so I know Amy's been working very hard. I've seen a lot of emails back and forth, and names have been brought into the committee, so. Um, <laughs> the one that I suggested so. since he came to council and asked you for a splash pad was Cody Sanders. I asked that he be on it because he was the one brave enough to come and ask for it. Oh, you know, for him to be a part of it. Who was it? Cody Sanders. I think Amy's main intention with the committee is have people from the community, from the park, maybe the village, Rotary, you know. Yep, I think so too. I am only in it to keep us legal if it turns into right. Right. I don't know. And I think Kid needs to be on it. I mean. Right. Can't you know, you you know where we would put it in the park? Do you have a general idea where we would put it? I don't know. You guys, maybe that was it. gone behind the I have no idea. This is new to me. I think it's probably like, I, think I guess uh, the size of what we're installing would make quite a difference really nice. of where we're going to put it. Okay, we'll go on, if you don't mind. The... Um, one of the family members from Five C's came to ask what their balance was, you know, on the loan that they owe, and thought that maybe they would pay half of it off by the end of the month. So, just thought I'd tell you. And then Mike Barth uh, made some connection with CSX because the Beautification Committee wanted to 
address some of the unsightly areas along the railroad tracks and some of the residents had complained to me about the unsightly areas in their backyards along the railroad tracks and Mike happened to have a connection and the guy came to Hicksville last Thursday or Friday oh, and, yeah. and I met with them and I didn't realize that we were mowing the sledding hill up there um, on Rock Street but we kind of walked around that area and we talked about the areas that were mowing and stuff of their property and asked him what other communities how they handle that and um, so he's gonna he's gonna see about how we can get the unsightly areas of the railroad viaducts cleaned up going through Hicksville so um, I had a really nice tour of Nemco food today and they have um, you know, the, have had for a long time a little water issue around their property, but they're going to do um, an expansion, and they, you know, wanted to know about some, what they could do about solving some of those problems at the same time. So um, I've asked the Water and Sewer Committee to meet with them and talk to them about that area, and Kent knows about it, so... Do any of you council members or anybody have anything else that you want brought up tonight? Anybody in the audience that has anything that they want brought up tonight? Anybody? Well, thank you for coming and we'll consider the meeting adjourned. If we have a motion. <laughs> Change the rules. Yeah. I'll make the motion adjourn. Second. Okay. We have a first and a second to adjourn. Roll call, please. Headley. Yes. McCraskey. Yes. Jones. Yes. Baker. Yes. Lawrence. Yes. Beverly. Yes. <laughs>